Welcome to another video. So this series of videos is getting prepared for Parks on the Air. Um, this box arrived on Friday from Martin Lynch and Son. So uh, thank you to Martin um, for sending this uh, through when it came into stock. The, this is the Alex Loop Hand Pack, which has just been released last week. Um, it's an all-in-one, well not a solution, um, for taking a magnetic uh, loop out and about. So you've got the Alex Loop magnetic loop, but also you've got a backpack designed by Alex, um, which can take the transceiver and the accessories as well. So I've only opened the top of this. I haven't uh, had the backpack out and had a look at it yet. So let's do that now. Okay, so there we go. The Alex Loop hand pack embroidered onto the front. Nice backpack, nice size. Usual pockets in the side for uh, putting your drink bottle in or whatever. Seems quite nicely padded and ventilated at the back. Two straps. Not a lot to, you can say. It's just uh, it is a backpack, but um, obviously Alex has had this made to his specifications. Seems to be a little pocket on the front there for putting in whatever. Again, another one, another one there as well. Deep pocket, maybe put manuals or some pieces in there. And then I assume this is the front. Aha, it's okay. So there we go. So that is the tuning unit for the magnetic loop and we have a transceiver pouch which I'm hoping I'm hoping that my Zigu X5105 which you saw me unboxing in an earlier video will go in I don't see any reason why it won't that's a transceiver pouch there is a pouch for accessories if I can get this out without the whole thing collapsing so again an accessories pouch, much the same, microphone leads or whatever in there, it's quite a deep, quite a deep pouch there. And then we've got the Alex Loop unit itself, which is velcroed in here. Oops, don't let me drop it. So that's the tuning unit and that has the indicator on there that you use to uh, Minimize the SWR, which is a nice feature of the Alex loops. You can buy that unit separately to clip onto existing magnetic loops of um, any make, I believe. But uh, I do like the design of this. It was inspired by um, a QRP transceiver he made earlier, which I think you can see in one of his videos. That's why he gets this uh, orange and black look from. So, yep, these are velcroed in top and bottom. So there's a coax, the two pieces there of the Alex loop. Okay, so that's the with the inner loop there. I'm assuming somewhere there'll be the outer loop. So that's that. We'll just uh, zip that back up for the moment. And then let's have a look in the back bit. And I'm hoping <laughs> the large outer loop is in here. And it is. There we go. So there's a large outer loop. I can see what uh, that's made in Brazil, as is Alex, and as is all this, apparently handmade by him. Um, so at least he you know, hand assembles it uh, afterwards. So there we go. So that's the uh, outer loop. And that's the Alex hand pack. So hopefully the next time you see this um, will be in a packs on the air activation. Though I may do. Um, a dry run. I think I'll do a dry run set up here in the garden uh, just to check that everything's working. So that is likely to be the next uh, time uh, you see this uh, this antenna. Okay thank you for watching hope that's been informative. Uh, maybe you can go and have a look look this up on Martin Lynch's uh, website and there's a couple of videos I think done by Alex himself um, explaining it. But hopefully in the next uh, in the next few weeks um, we'll get this out and about 
and actually see how uh, how it performs see you later